All right, here we are. We're back at Reg's shop. And last time we were here, there is a huge, monstrous stove in here. And it has been replaced by a much smaller stove. Reg, would you like to tell us a little bit about this smaller stove we see here? I bought this stove in hopes it was uh, the same as the stove over there. Because I need parts for that one. Yep. So, after jackassing around with this guy on Craigslist for a month, turns out this stove was smaller than that one, so guess what? Parts don't need to change. But, it was in such great condition, I bought it anyway, and brought it home. Took out the big one, because I got a new shop built, and that's a different story within itself. So, we put this little one in, and it really struggles to keep things heated up, but it takes up less space. And it, it's a good little stove. It's, it's nice to cook on and it keeps this room cozy. Now Reg says it struggles to keep this place warm. It's about 80 degrees in here. It's a warm day, Clint. It's warm in had, here. Considering what we've had. That's true. Wise, we've had sub-zero temperatures here in Indiana this year. But um, all I know, it's, it's art on the front door. I call him Arthur. He's a number 14, where the other one over there is a number 16. Oh yeah, there it says number 14, yeah. doesn't it? Had I known that, I don't know if I would have made the trip to Muncie, but I did, so this is, it is what it is. On the back of the tags, Jacobson Manufacturing, Bridgeport, Alabama. And this stove's in good shape. It's not cracked, other than the top lid is starting to crack and that's since I've had it I don't know if that's from the heat I would have to assume so I've had it really really hot but anyway it's there's crack here and crack there and I, I plan on getting that fixed but now you burn both coal and wood in this stove absolutely do you think it was originally just intended to burn wood or do you think it was intended to burn coal as well it's intended to burn coal because it has a shaker grate in it and it's cast iron and cast iron can take the heat. Coal puts okay. out a lot of heat. So anyway, with this fancy tool, we can uh, remove this top lid and you can actually stuff some longer pieces of wood in there or just dump coal in there. Gotcha. Uh, like I said... So you don't have to worry about burden yourself through that front door. Sure, yeah. Very nice. And it's nice little cooktop. I had to get a smaller pot because my big one was for the other one, so I had to get a smaller pot. But I have a skillet also, and I just actually got done making a sausage and egg biscuit, which was really good. It sounds delicious. Oh yeah, Frank's Red Hot. Uh-huh. Okay, so we got our spring-loaded handle because uh, springs conduct less heat so you can actually open it up. The door's getting a little floppy and it's tightened up. I didn't do anything with this when I brought it home other than install it. Usually I kind of clean them up and make them look a little better. But So right now we've got wood and coal in here and I think this piece was hedge. It was very yellow when I cut into it. Yeah, you're probably saying, why is he doing that? He's got a shaker grate. Well, it only does so much. We're going to throw some coal in there. Folks at home, if you don't burn coal, or don't believe in burning coal, you're probably a communist. shaker grate down at the bottom how often do you use that usually whenever I clean the ashes out in the morning I'll kind of rake them around with my stick and then whenever it gets 
further down, I will uh, shake it. So, usually just once a day? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. So, it's, it's really not much to see, but right here it is. And I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think this is the right tool to use, but it's all I got. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. I mean, heck yeah. Clinkers. Clinkers. All right. Anything else you want to tell us about it? No. Um, it is a dandy little stove. And let me tell you, it is warm in here. I lose a lot of heat out the flue pot because I never took the time to put in a damper. And being this late in the year, I'm not going to do it now. Maybe later. Maybe next year. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, well thanks for showing us your stove, Ridge. Alright, thanks for coming out, guys.